Hi dear viewers, welcome to this Coffee Cup reading. This Coffee Cup reading is for all Aquarians and it's for May 2023. My dear viewers, I hope you'll enjoy this reading today. Um, let me begin by showing you what a beautiful, sorry, what a beautiful cup you have. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just trying to fix my shirt. Here we go. My sleeve, actually. Um, yes, absolutely gorgeous. There's so much here, so much. Welcome, my dear viewers. Welcome, new viewers. For those of you who are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up and click, click on the bell so that it notifies you um, of the different videos that I do for you if you're new. My dear viewers, um, always remember, be mindful that I prior to this, I meditate and get connected to all the guiding angels of all Aquarians or the majority of them. And I'm given information and I'll write it down on a piece of paper and give it to you right at the end of this reading. Okay, so uh, stay tuned for that. Now let us begin with your reading. Here we go. Now, the first thing I'm seeing here, it looks to me like people are, it's as though you're being recognized now. Especially if the last two major things that you have done or major jobs or projects that you have uh, created or, or done, I feel like you are being recognized. Now's the time that you're being acknowledged, your efforts are being acknowledged, and you deserve all the recognition and the success that's coming. And there is a lot of success coming, and I feel like you're moving forward in a very high level, uh, on a very high scale, uh, moving forward, upwards. I see um, inspiration here, beautiful, the angel of inspiration, of, of hope. I see the, uh, your dreams, future dreams are coming uh, to pass. There is someone that's entering your life and you, someone entering your life, which um, I will find out more about them in a moment. I also see this uh, angel um, that's making your future dreams come true. It's this person, this person, someone will dramatically change your life. This is going to be a very strong love between you, between two people. Very strong love, you and someone. So um, you're entering into a period of a lot of serenity and satisfaction. And this looks like it's happening um, very soon. Your emotionals are going to be fulfilled. Wishes are being granted and good fortune, luck coming your way. That is amazing. You have to be a little bit more selfish and care about yourself a little bit more. Just um, don't let people take advantage of you. Don't go doing too much and hurting your, yourself for the sake of uh, situations. This is really very strong. Okay, I'll just come closer to this coffee cup because I can't see what deeper. Okay, this is very deep, this section. So um, it shows to me that you really need to pay attention because... Um, Okay, some of you may be, okay, what I'm, what I'm trying to see here is that um, some of you need to take a chance, you know, sometimes. Being strate strategic, but you can take a chance, even though it may be risky. And I'm not talking about money. This could be something else, like options. You've got options, you know. You need to be strategic how to use your options, how to take advantage of them. You know, um, if you're planning to see someone, if you're planning to do something, um you're procrastinating because of fear, but uh, it says take action. They're saying take action now uh, and complete what you have already planned. Keep going with your plans. Speak up for yourself. Speak up and say, no, I want this, you know. Um, follow through and take the necessary steps to see the situation through. Your projects to fruition, you've got to do that. You can't just wait for other people to approve or their approval. You know, um, have confidence and in your ability to make things happen because you're capable. You can do it. Ouch. Sorry, just bear with me. I'm getting a little bit itchy here. Okay. Now, as I was saying, um, I do feel like your higher self is involved here. It's like it wants to show you something. It wants to tell you something. You know, you're preoccupied with so much that you've got no time really to, to understand what's what's needed for you to know and you know what what it looks like to me what's needed is for you to be aware of um some uh, um, some qu some questions that you keep that are inside you you keep questioning the answers are all there for you but you're not able to access them um so there is someone that's entering your life that's changing your life that's number one but there's also um and i'll say this there's a lot of money coming. You're destined for a lot of money, a big change in life. Uh, 
And especially if you're an Aquarius who's a cuspy on Capricorn, if you have Capricorn within you strong or you're a cuspy, I feel you're destined for a large amount of money. And I'm talking like life-changing money, wealth and riches. So your higher self is trying to tell you about that. It's trying to tell you two things, okay? First is that one about you being entitled or destined to have a lot of money. So remember to watch your money reading that talks about your money, where the source is of money is coming from, your lucky numbers, uh, how to use them and all that. That's in your money reading for Aquarius, okay? But now what I'm seeing is your higher self is trying to tell you two things. So first is the money how to invest, how you're going to have a lot of real estate, you are going to have a lot of a chain of real estate, perhaps a lot of money is coming. Um, and, and I know that uh, with the only sign uh, in the zodiac that is destined for a lot of money, uh, because I've been seeing it for the whole year, is Capricorn. So especially uh, Aquarians could benefit from this, especially if you are, uh, if you have Capricorn within you, very important. But this is uh, a Capric uh, this is uh, an Aquarius cup, and I'm seeing the wealth here too. So, you know, if, if you have Capricorn in, in you, it's going to be more, much more. But I do feel like this is happening also. A big amount of money is seems to be destined. Um, it's going to change your life. It's success to the highest level. Wealth building uh, money. Wealth is coming. So your higher self is trying to tell you that. That's number one. And the second thing, it's in regard to someone that is very analytical, someone that's a bit... Uh, What's the word? They're very judgmental sometimes. Someone that is um, that speaks with authority. So you know what I'm talking about. Someone like that is around you. And this person is um, trying to sort of either control a situation or they're pushing you to do something or they want something from you or they're directing you to the truth. So pay attention. It's like your higher self is saying, you know, pay attention. attention. But uh, at the same time, uh, there is another third thing that your high self wants to tell you and it's saying sort of like don't believe in every thought that you have sometimes the thoughts that you have within you they can be negative and they can be um bad thoughts so you know they can be they can sometimes your thoughts can be a lie and the, and you might believe in them and get consumed in them so uh, very important to know you are addicted you are becoming addicted to something or someone for some of you, it could be something. You've got to be careful not to do something too much. But I feel like some of you are getting addicted to someone. And when you talk to this person or when you're near this person, um, I feel like you get a lot of healing. So you're becoming slowly addicted. They're, they're becoming your painkiller. They're becoming, uh, the, they uh, remove, oh, is that coffee? Uh, they remove, I'll just wipe this off. Uh, they remove your sadness. That's what's happening. Okay, sorry. I had coffee on my, on my hand. Yes, I feel like this person um, removes your sadness and, you know, you feel really happy. That's why you're becoming addicted. You're becoming addicted to the need uh, to have that uh, talk with them. It just makes you feel incredible. There is someone, however, a bit selfish and greedy you've got to be very careful of. Um, they sometimes have no regard for other people. You've got to be very careful of this person because this person could be trying to control you at the same time. Um, there is another per there is another situation where I'm seeing addiction to to sex with someone because the the um, the pleasure is so intense, so your intimacy is becoming stronger and over too much. Uh, you've got to be careful. Also, some of you, if you are getting involved in some sort of uh, uh, other addiction, like um, substance abuse or you know anything to do with extra ordinary too much drinking too much marijuana too much something you've got to be very careful now in some cases it could be just that addiction to someone very sensual and and, and it could be just that and no more but it depends there's different different aquariums and, and different um addictions there is a situation that you need to get to the end or to the heart of the matter. You've really got to investigate it. Uh, I feel like once you do that, you're coming out of darkness. Um, there's there's more going on than meets the eye, and you need to know that. If you're, yeah, the, the only way to succeed and move forward is by you um, dealing with the situation. If you are having issues with loyalty um, and building relationships and trustworthiness. Uh, with reliable people not having that or having issues with that, I feel like um, 
faithfulness is uh, very important. And sometimes you really need to look at your own level of fidelity and dependability, you know, and, and really make a pledge to be loyal. Now, this doesn't apply to every Aquarius, but it's there. It's there and it's talking. It's being talked about. Uh, someone with Earth energy here, very strong. Um, this person with Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, either one, seems to be holding on to something. They're holding on to something or they could be uh, holding a piece of your heart. Uh, this person could be um, quite healing in some ways. Maybe you remember you go into memory lane with this person or this person is coming into your life. Earth energy, very strong. I see that you are going to be part of a community or part of a group. And this is giving you a sense of happiness, a sense of freedom, a sense of spirituality. Maybe you're going to a spiritual place. But every now and then you do have pleasant memories, happy memories of good times that you spend with someone. They're, they're very comforting and they could be coming from the past. Yeah, it is from someone from the past. You remember the happy times and you just become so happy and heal but that in a way he, you are already in healing this is a, a something from a long time uh, maybe you know two three years ago i feel like grief and loss is sort of you've, you've overcome grief and loss over this person but i do feel like every now and then you do visit the past and and remember justice is going to prevail in that regard in this situation and there is a key that's going to be given to you this key is going to open up a lot of doors for you you're moving forward with them there's agreements there's uh, there's um legal disputes all resolved there's losses uh, that are going to be compensated um there's going to be justice for you believe me justice in a big big way for you something good is about to happen to you so you got to be <laughs> very careful so that you don't um sabotage it somehow by asking the wrong question or by uh, doing or being by by fear you know by fear maybe you're afraid to, uh, you know whatever you do don't let issues stand in your way and ruin something wonderful is about to happen there is a new beginning that's going to bring you a lot of happiness a new project um a new person coming into your life there is something new it shows both there is two two new things happening one could be someone wonderful that you might start a life with uh, there's a lot of fertility happiness here warmth even wonderful family life something connected to a starting family and there's another thing which is to do with a project that you want to do or you want to be closer to family or you want to buy near uh, family or start something with family or just you know uh, doing it with someone i do feel like you are going to meet someone very spectacular someone incredible here that you're meeting this person is very hard worker they work very hard they're reliable and gentle and you will love that about them there's so many qualities in them that you will adore and slowly slowly you're going to fall in love it's amazing it takes a lot of strength sometimes to recognize you need a change. And this is the time where you will go through that, you know, recognizing that you need a change and you have to make some changes and transformations. You are given the strength, the power to move forward. You don't have to get upset when things don't go right, when you're trying to overcome a situation, um, facing problems and with, you know, um, with your inner strength, you will overcome any challenge. If there is a challenge, because there is a, a controlling situation that needs to come to an end. You need to have a little bit of patience with others um, and you will see that. Yeah, sometimes other people's weaknesses, sometimes they do make it um, difficult for you and you see that as a problem. You just have to be a little bit patient and, you know, look for support because support is coming and strength is coming. You're given the support and strength. Someone is coming into your life that's very strong and you will reap a lot of strength from them. Um, there is a great cause for celebration. There's balloons here, celebration. Something has arrived. Something has happened. And you need to take time to enjoy this someone or something that's happened. Something. It won't tell me what it is, but it's a great gift of some sort and that it's worth celebrating. You need to take time out to really, really um, enjoy this uh, this situation. In some cases, it could be a new person, a new love that's entering your life. And I feel like 
you need to know what's the word you need to take action in regard to this love it's not a love that just comes and that's it you just got to take some action it's like action is lacking maybe because you're not you you are going to find out that this person is very special unlike anyone you've met you're, you're tired of meeting perhaps the wrong people and with this one this particular person you will feel that you are very special or they are very special you'll feel that and and um and the relationship is going to prosper uh, and it's going to become a very strong unconditional loving between you and this person but of course self-love plays a big role so you need to have that so that your your oneness becomes spectacular there's passion there's affection there's attraction all those things are there but the unconditional loving is the one that's very important and that unconditional loving that i'm talking about has to come from your side you've got to love them unconditionally not them and that is very important it's like showing that to me you've got to have unconditional loving without conditions without too many expectations now this is amazing what i'm seeing here this is spectacular this is a description of someone magnificent and this person that you are dealing with or that uh, is very special i feel like they have a lot of aquarius like yourself within them because i'm seeing two water bearers two aquarians um i'm also seeing something very bizarre three scales three libras they have a lot of libra in them so they they may be born aquarius like under the sign of aquarius but there's a lot of libra in them and that's where the justice was uh, i was seeing a lot of justice coming your way uh, before uh, maybe that justice was also to do with the fact that this person has got a lot of liberal in them which they, that means they will be uh, they will have a lot of justice and they will be fair and you will love that about them another important factor which i'm seeing here that they there are a lot of um one okay there's two water energies in them very strong and those water energies three of them three sets of fish are pisces three sets of pisces so that makes pisces within them very very strong which is amazing. Now, the other um, water energies are usually Scorpio and Cancer. There are two Scorpions and one Cancer also there. Wow. Sometimes they don't show the water energy. But here they're saying that there are two water energies very strong with this person. So Aquarius and water. Very interesting. There's Aquarius and water and Libra. So um, water being Pisces, a lot of Pisces, which makes them very romantic, uh, very sensitive, uh, very passionate you will love that about them the liberal very romantic again um, very fair and just and loving and giving and the pisces the cancer very nurturing the scorpio very deep analytical and passionate you'll love that about them but what's amazing they're filled with these other signs there's also capricorn in them two capricorn i'm seeing and there is leo leo very strong two lions and um fire energy They've got Sagittarius and Mars. It could be either one, but I see two Leos and two Capricorns. So the Earth is going to give them that that stability that you look uh, and you look for in a person, someone that you can rely on, someone as stable as you, perhaps, someone that you can build together, you can move forward together, hand in hand, you can do so much. So they've got that power in them, having the Earth there, the Capricorn, having Libra and Pisces and Aquarius in them, which is going to make them um, absolutely incredible. Now, the, I'm seeing one, two, three rats, Chinese year of the rat here, very strong. If it's yourself, you are born in the Chinese year of the rat. Um, or the person, the Chinese era of the rat is very strong here, which means you're going to have a beautiful beginning with these people and it's going to be spectacular. Now, the other ones are one, two and three again. That is amazing. I, I used to pray for this, for the, uh, my guardian angels to give me two, three so that it can be a hundred percent. I used to be always having one and not sure which is going to be the more, but now they've just started doing it and I'm getting shocked. I'm seeing three pigs here, Chinese ear of the pig. So if you are uh, uh, born in the Chinese ear of the rat, you would go exceptionally well with the pig because um, the rat and the pig are practically soulmates. They're family. They unite well together and they work exceptionally well together. Another factor here is the Chinese ear of the tiger. One, two, three small tigers. Tiger. Chinese ear of the tiger. So tiger goes exceptionally well with the pig. If you are a pig, the Chinese ear of the pig, the Chinese ear of the tiger goes amazingly well with the tiger. Um, and then I'm seeing um, 
I'll just have a look deeper. Just bear with me. I just move my chair and bring this to the light a little bit towards the light. Yes. Uh, I'm seeing one, two, and three roosters. There's three roosters here. Beautiful roosters. Uh, Chinese year of the rooster fits yourself or the person. And the rooster goes exceptionally well with the rat, their soulmates. Beautiful together. And then finally, I think I'm seeing the snake. Chinese year of the snake. There's three snakes here. Uh, which goes uh, amazing with the Chinese ear of the rat. Um, yeah, the snake doesn't go well with the rooster, but it does go with the rat beautifully. So Chinese ear of the snake, whether it's yourself or this person that you are destined to be with, to meet with. Um, I'm also seeing here two horses, one, two only, two horses. Chinese ear of the horse, very strong here. This shows that there's going to be a lot of freedom. You are going to have finally your freedom. And you could be meeting the one if you are, of course, um, Chinese ear of the horse. Or maybe you, the horse is your soulmate, especially if you are uh, born in the Chinese ear of the rooster. Um, the horse would be the perfect soulmate. Uh, I'm seeing two dogs here, Chinese ear of the dog. If you are born in the Chinese ear of the dog or... Um, destined to be with the dog. The dog goes perfect with the rooster. The dog goes perfect with um, with the snake. Absolutely beautiful with the snake. They're soulmates, family mates. And then there's two monkeys. Chinese ear of the monkey. Those of you who are born in the Chinese ear of the monkey or this person could have Chinese ear of the monkey within them. And the monkey goes beautiful with the Chinese ear of the dog and it goes perfect also with the Chinese ear of the rooster. Soulmates. So this is incredible. I feel like the world, like something is really getting completed. And I feel like you've got the world in your hand and something is happening that's transcending you to a level where you feel in control. You feel as though you are mastering, you're ma you've mastered everything and you've reached to a level of success, acknowledgement, happiness, peace. And it's like, it's like, um, two main dreams you wanted you had two main wishes and they're both getting completed and this is giving you a sense of abundance a sense of happiness a sense of fortune being lucky being in gratitude all those feelings so that's amazing now my dear Aquarians what I will do is go through and see what you need to know what were the messages that came through first and foremost it says financial advisor remember the big money I said wealth and riches you're destined for that when that happens, or maybe it's happening soon, or something else might be happening, financial advisor is needed. So you need to get some sort of help to know what to do. Always get to never one so that you can be on top of it. And so that you can, because financial advice is very important that you get two people's opinion and then finally make your own decision. Sagittarius. Oh, wow. We didn't have Sag, did we? Oh, yes, we had one Sagittarius, I think. There was Leo, there was Sagittarius, and yeah, there was only one Sagittarius. So just Sagittarius here, very strong. Somebody that may have Sagittarius within them, or if you're an Aquarius who has Sagittarius in them, um, you are, this is just a call out for Sagittarians, or something about someone Sagittarius. Uh, greed, there is someone that may be greedy. Uh, don't let greed stand in your way, or if there is someone greedy, take action. Oh my God, two Chinese here of the dog. I was given the dog twice. We had two dogs here, another two that makes it four. Chinese here of the dog, very strong. This could be also some of you getting a pet, starting a family, first child, uh, having a child, not first child, sorry, having a child. Uh, the dog represents many things. It represents loyalty in a relationship, someone really loyal. It represents someone born in the Chinese ear of the dog, which is twice, which intensifies the, the, the magnitude of this person that's coming into your life. Or it could be you, you could be, um, you could have a lot of, you could be a cuspy, you could be an Aquarius, um, rooster dog cuspy and it's nominating that the dog in you is stronger the chinese zero the dog is stronger in you now um the dog also represents a pet any kind of pet that you might be considering and a dog star uh, also is about having a child so um different aquarians will relate to this in a different way but the most strongest one is the chinese zero of the dog um, which are beautiful people the dog the most giving loving and loyal um no and i'm not a dog <laughs> So I wouldn't say that about myself. Anyhow, repair. Uh, sometimes when I'm explaining something about how wonderful a sign is, people say, oh, you must you must be that. No, no. <laughs> now, repair is very uh, important uh, because you are going to be repairing something. Uh, something needs your attention and needs repairing. And then it says here, um, oh, wow, this was yeah, another shocking, something I never expected that your guiding angels would say, but they're saying it. 
They're saying that tattoo, tattoo came twice. I've never ever had tattoo given to me ever in the years that I'm doing this job. I was given a twice tattoo and a nice tattoo, a very nice tattoo. So whoever's got a tattoo, <laughs> they got an applause uh, from their guardian angels that it's a very nice tattoo. I can't wait to hear comments about this. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting because I've never in my life have got a message from the divine about tattoo. Anyhow, uh, so twice tattoo and a nice tattoo. So there's an applause for your tattoo. Whatever you've got, it must be a very nice one. Um, fear. Something about fear. We talked about fear. You have to overcome it and chase up something important and, and pursue it and don't stop. Um, pain. For those of you who are having pain, you're doing too much. You could be straining your, your back. Um, Aquarius, it's always something to do with the back or the lower back. You've always got to watch that you don't do too much. Um, you are still vulnerable, it says. So for those of you who have had issues in the past, or it could be about love from the past, you're still vulnerable. It could be about love from the past or it could be, you know, doing too much or it could be that you need to pay attention to your health. July, something about July, something big is going to happen in July. You might be meeting someone and you might be still vulnerable, but you're still meeting the one because the one is coming, it's there. You won't be alone. So they're letting you know, for those of you who are feeling that maybe I'll be alone, how much longer will I go without someone to love, someone to care about, you are um, not going to be alone. You won't be alone. Uh, but there is temptation, and you have to be very careful, especially when it comes to money. Remember I said don't take any risks. So there's temptation and there's something to do with money. Oh, my God. First time I'm given so many letters. The other day for somebody else, there was only three. <laughs> I'm just shocked. How many letters I was given. These are all call-outs for, for people's names, their initials, the beginning of your name. So we've got V for victory. We've got U for umbrella. We've got Z for Zulu, Z for Zulu or Zoo, D for donut or dog, P for pony or Poland. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm put, I've got my glasses on. Yes, maybe it was too close. Okay. P for Poland. Uh, we've got T for tiger, W for winter. I'll just open it up. And then we've got we've got R for Rome, yes, and G for Greece or for Georgia, and Y for yellow or yummy. We've got number two. Only one number was given. Number two, and the number two is the Chinese year of the ox or buffalo. It is someone born in February, which is a lot of Aquarians are born in February. Uh, so it could be to do, remember I said the person might have a little bit of Aquarius in them, so they could be a February born Aquarian. Um, they could also be Pisces. There were three sets of fish here. Pisces is also born in February. So that's that one. The two is also number two. So it could be a house or a building or a new job or um, something connected to door. You could be born on the second of the month uh, or the person could be born second of a month. Two is also connected to relationships and abundance happening in relationships. Two is also about abundance. It's the year of the buffalo and the ox. So within two, from the time you see this cup up to two months, there will be abundance happening in relationships, romantic ones and others, other relationships, a lot of things happening, and there is abundance coming your way. And remember, I said abundance, money is coming, big time wealth, abundance is coming. So that is the end of your reading. My goodness gracious, I hope you enjoyed it, my dear viewers. Do give me a thumbs up before you leave if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to notify you when I upload videos for you. I do wish you abundance of happiness, joy, and love and light. Do share these um, videos with friends. So there's a lot of people they might not know about them. And don't forget to watch your money reading to know precisely where the money's coming from. And if you wanted to start sign combination of the person that is destined in your way, coming, this incredible special person that you might be addicted to, um, have a look at your journal reading. At the end of your journal reading, you will have uh, the star sign combination and um I mean, we, ha we have it here, but when you see it there, it just confirms and reaffirms and you get to know a lot. There might have been things that I might have said here. I didn't say in the general on that day, the vibration, there might be more information for you there. So have a look at your general in regard to that too. Um, I do wish you a lot of happiness and um, plenty of love and light. Namaste.